Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss business glossary. So business glossary is a list of business terms and their definitions that organizations use to ensure that the same definitions are used organization wide when analyzing data. And now we are going to move ahead with its technical parameters. So first of all we have import glossary term and data hub does provide this feature for importing or ingesting glossary terms into data hub and now we'll see how does these glossary terms look like in data hub so we'll go to data hub user interface and this is the home page of data hub so under explore your metadata we'll find an option for glossary terms and here we have currently 54 number of glossary terms so we'll click on it and then we'll go to this e-commerce folder and here we'll find the number of glossary terms which are ingested in this data hub so this is the term and this is the definition or description which is related to this glossary term. And in order to search these glossary terms, let's say A-B testing. So we'll go to the Data Hub homepage and we'll search here for A-B testing. And you will find that we have a result under glossary terms that is e-commerce.ab testing. So we'll click on it and now we can get the full view of this result. So we have only one result for this glossary term. And now we are going to see how does these business glossary terms get assigned with data set in data hub. So now we'll pick a data set, let's say customer. And after that, at the right side, we'll find an option for glossary terms. So no terms has been added yet. So in order to add terms to this data set, we can click add term. And now we are going to search for the glossary term which we have ingested. So let's search for customer relationship. So, okay. So we are getting a result like e-commerce dot customer relationship management so we can click it and after that we can click on add and then a new glossary term will be added to this data set and again you have an option to add multiple glossary terms to the same data set and if you will click on this glossary term then you will find all the number of data sets which are associated with this glossary term and here at the right side you will find the name of the owners who are assigned to this glossary terms. And now we'll go to the next parameter that is create glossary terms and suggest glossary terms. And both of these parameters are not supported in Data Hub for now. Thanks for watching. Now we are going to talk about data lineage. Data lineage helps us to understand the life cycle of data. It states where the data is coming from, where it is going, and at the same time, what are the transformations applied to it. Data lineage plays an important role when strategic decisions rely on accurate information. So let's move ahead with its technical parameters. So the first one is table level lineage graph. Table level lineage graph is a type of lineage where the subtables or sub data sets are created from another super data sets that to within same platform. So let's take an example of this customer data set which is coming from Snowflake platform. So this is the data set schema and now for now we are going to click on lineage. So we can see that we have one upstream and two downstream for this data set and to see this lineage in a simplified manner we are going to click on visualize lineage. So here we'll zoom in a little bit and we can see that this is our customer data set which is getting created from web sales raw data set within Snowflake. And after that, from this customer data set, two more data sets are getting created within Snowflake. So this type of lineage where one data set is getting created from another data set that to within a same platform is called as table level lineage graph and now we are going to see the next parameter that is 
cross platform data lineage so cross platform data lineage is a type of data lineage where the data moves from one platform to another let's take an example of this another customer data set that is coming from dbt platform so again we are going to click on lineage and here we can see that we have one upstream and one downstream for this data set lineage and we are going to click on visualize lineage and again we'll zoom in a little bit so here we can see that this is our customer data set from dbt and this is the source web sales raw data set from snowflake so from this source the web sales raw data is getting transformed using dbt tool and then again the transformed data is getting saved back to snowflake as customer data set so this type of lineage where multiple platforms are working together is known as cross platform data lineage now let's go to the next technical parameters so the next parameter is filter on lineage graph so for now this parameter is not supported in data hub and the next one is column level lineage graph and this technical parameter is again not supported in data hub for now hello everyone in this video we are going to discuss about the next dimension that is data tagging so data tagging allows users to organize information more efficiently by associating pieces of information with some keywords or terms now we'll move ahead with its first technical parameter that is ui for tag management so here we are going to see how does it get implemented in data hub so we'll go to data hub and we'll pick a data set let's say customer from snowflake and this is the basic schema of this data set and at right side we can find tags so here these are the multiple tags which is already been created in data hub and all these three data uh, tags are associated with this data set and you can create a new tag by clicking here add tag and after that you can either search an existing tag or you can create a new one so i'm going to create a new one so let's give a new name let's say customer underscore new underscore data set so this tag doesn't exist in my data hub for now so that's why it is showing me to create a new one so i'll click on it and after that it will ask me to add a description to this tag so you can give any description and after that you can click on create and after that a new tag will be created and it will be associated with this data set and after that if you click on any tag let's say from snowflake so you will find that there are eight data sets where this from snowflake tag is applied so you can click on eight data sets and you can find the number of data sets where from snowflake tag is associated so this is much about UI for tag management and we'll go to the next parameters that are auto tagging, PII detection and attach policy to tag. And all three of these parameters are not supported in data hub for now. Thanks for watching.